you'll know a guy who only occasionally shaves for big occasions, and it's because that occasional shave really hurts. It's the time of year for big occasions, and yet there he is, suffering with that cheap drugstore razor. Let's help him out. Henson Shaving's line of razors, built with aerospace precision, deliver a smooth shave your dad, brother, and even son can enjoy, eventually. With replacement blades just 10 cents each, you'll buy it once, and they'll use it for life. How's that for the perfect gift? Celebrate with 100 free blades on your first purchase, and no subscription headaches. HensonShaving.com slash holiday. K360 Ray. Hello, J360 Legion, and welcome to a J360 Mini Bite, hosted by J.M. Brady. And I am your host, J.M. Brady. Let's get into it. Hey, so how's it going, y'all? <laughs> New week, eh? Hey, you know what? I'm finally here. Back from the ashes, if you will. You know, uh, speaking of which, last time around, I just have one thing to say about it. I regret nothing in what I did. I mean, you think about it. Episode 54, if anything, it was just me talking about what I don't tolerate. And you see, there's quite a lot of things, even from real life to the interwebs, which is pretty much real life anyway. I don't know why people try to do that kind of stuff. I mean, that that's that's you at best in digital form. At the end of the day, you know, I don't really tolerate certain things. <laughs> and we all have our limits. That is nowhere near my limit. But I did have to go ahead and say that in a moment of clarity. And, you know, in order to keep that clarity going on, it also reminds you a lot about yourself. Yep, as I came back, you know, and was gone from everything, you know, I needed to really, really take a long, hard look at things. And I did. It wasn't bad. Because one way or another, we got a lot of things to fix up. And I don't apologize for anything like that. I have my reasons for doing what I do. And you never need to apologize on something that's really annoying the hell out of you. Or anything annoying the hell out of you. Whether it's social media, whether it's people's commentary on things, or whether it's just, you know what, people and life in general sucks for a week. You understand what I'm saying? We see a lot of people can't handle that, you know, because for some reason, when it comes to like difference of opinion or how things are ran, some people just can't handle it. And some people see a side of you that they never thought was there. And truth and truth be told, you have not seen the J-Man's bad side at all. And honestly, why would you want to? You know what I mean? You get nothing out of it. And if I really allow myself to go all out like that, well then obviously, see, <laughs> I'm done for a while then. Long while, I should say. Because, um... To be honest with you, you know, y'all don't need to see me at my worst. And you're never going to. Because if anything, I'm pretty great at what I do, right? <laughs> and man, speaking of seeing people at their worst, have you noticed? Oh, Donnie's starting to crack over there in the White House, man. You know, he's over here pushing for this tax cut nonsense again. And then he's over here talking about like he will not accept he may not he said he may not accept the results of a democratic election. It's like hey man, what exactly are you trying to do here? Cuz see, no real despot would unless there's something that he really wants to do. He, I mean like he wants to go ahead and win these four more years. I don't know about you, but I don't know about dealing with four more years of this nonsense. You know, about a lot of people are trying to pee on you and say that it's raining. Or, or or going ahead and say that, you know, things are on fire and you're sitting in the middle and it's like, yeah, this is nice. Nothing's going to happen. Everything's okay. And you already see what his fan base does. Matter of fact, quite a lot of them didn't want to wear a mask and now they're sick and they're like, oh my God, how did I get this way? Just honestly, man, it's like, you know, when you turn a blind eye to things or when your worldview is threatened, and I've said this on multiple different occasions, you really don't know how to handle it. See, there are people out there a lot more high strung than I ever could be. And, you know, if anything, they feel a lot more comfortable about this guy being in office simply because, you know, think about it. What are we all used to at a certain period of time? If you look at the history of our president's 
across the way. We've had good presidents, we've had bad presidents. And then we had WTF presidents. If anything, Trump is more or less a mix of bad and WTF. Now, he might have been sharp about a few things. And keep in mind of that word, a few things. But sometimes it's all about how he looks on the press. And, uh, you know, and I've noticed this about a lot of people that I see, even from my day job to whether I'm trying to network with others out here, because even as I build J360 Productions, you know, I'm still part of a community. So I have to work with other people that are, you know, involved in the same frame, right? And as I am networking, I've noticed, like, some people, when it comes to good press, oh, yeah, all over the place. But when it comes to, like, negative press or so, It's fake. It's something to not be accountable about. It's something to not really... Can't can't take the criticism, but love the praise. That's awful. And see, even, you know, when I took time away from social media and everything else, I didn't take time away from doing productions, mind you, but I took time away from social media. That was a moment of clarity for me. And a lot of you out there should really go ahead and take one, too, you know, because you start looking at how you react and how you act on the Internet. And then you look at how you are becoming and changing. And if you get to the point where it's like all you can think about is a message board or commentary or anything that people throw at you. You got to go. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not the commentary. It's not just the fact that people are out here, you know, they, they'll they say whatever they want to say. Any of you out there can. A lot of y'all, I, I even say, when you listen to any J360 show and you disagree with me, that is okay. It's fine. I mean, some people feel comfortable, strength in numbers, but you know, here's the thing. What have I always told you? I'm good solo as well as in a group. You understand what I'm saying? And when I speak my opinion, it's just my opinion. It's not going to stop you from living your life. I hope it doesn't. But you see, one way or another, we the people, we, we got we to gotta get our backbone back. I'm using the proverbial we on that because, hell, I never lost mine. I'm sure you've seen it. And the same thing goes for, like, a lot of other people that, you know, inspire me to keep creating and all. They're very strong people. We need those kind of people in the uh, public census here, you know, you gotta, you gotta be strong, everything has changed, whether you like it or not, you know, like any of that relative ease, and then all of this comfort zone stuff, you, you gotta understand that a comfort zone is just as deadly as living with complete uncertainty, because see, in the comfort zone, there's no fight there, but with complete uncertainty though, every day is a struggle, every day is a fight, every day changes, you know what I'm saying? But you got to get used to something. And you see, one's going to make you stronger, and the other one is going to give you a false sense of strength. And see, quite a lot of people depend on, you know, Trump to make, I don't know, not make changes. I, I want to say they depend on him to do certain things because that is their sense of a comfort zone. And quite a lot of older people love this stuff because that's what they were used to. They're, they always tell you they come from a different time. You know, I'm sure like every single one of them, you, you've you seen them before. You probably work with some of them that sit here and say this stuff. You know, there's a guy at my job that runs around saying, white lives matter. And you see the funny part about it is, I always check him. I'm like, you don't matter, man. <laughs> oh boy, it was funny as hell. I shut him down on that one. You see the thing about it is, I looked at him and I said, hell, <laughs> oh god and before y'all start acting crazy and saying like gee man you actually said that yeah i did because in the in the whole public census if you think all the way back to the occupy movement hell us 99 percenters don't matter to these people and when you really think about it the social elites are the one that keep us down you know because they'll always point out things that we're insecure about through other people that they managed to pay off at the end of the day, he's all saying that stuff, and I checked him on it. <laughs> I was like, damn, son. I mean, even if you got killed, they'll talk about you for a week, but I guarantee by next week or something like that, if you are a um, private citizen or whatever, they ain't going to talk about you no more. They're going to be like, who the hell are you? You know what I mean? If you're not out here or have any sort of uh, following around you and crap. And you know, the worst part about it is <laughs> we all know that it's true that, you know, 
Who, who's to say what matters and what doesn't matter? Gee, I don't know. I think your own self. And you see, as I said that to him, I was like, you know, I'm not trying to be cruel or anything. What I'm saying is, in the public senses of things, nobody's probably thinking of you one way or another. But if you think well about yourself, then, you know, yeah, maybe you do. See what I'm saying? See how things shift and change a little bit? And as I rise and I become more of a public personality or so, the thing about it is, I'm like, I'm still me pretty much. All right, am I going to worry about you telling me whether I matter or not? Nah. <laughs> nope, still going to be the same old person, still going to be the same guy from Delaware who's going to California, who's doing his own thing, living it up, running his own business. And you know what? Still tells it like it is. Oh, speaking of which, when it comes to presidency, though, I just want the public to understand this. Stop feeding into Kanye West, Okay. Homeboy didn't take his medicine. He's out here just utilizing every sort of mean and any sort of way that he can to get attention. And he's going ahead and talk. How do you talk about your own wife locking you up? You know what I mean? All that kind of stuff right there is just showing another mental breakdown or just another cry for help. And instead of us just looking at it and be like, hmm, okay, we won't feed into this. Everybody's out here feeding into it. Like, my mom, for, oh, God, when she called me up and told me that he was out here doing a town hall, and I was like, and I see him there with, like, a bulletproof vest or so on him, I'm like, come on, man. Not not, not now. Not now, man. We're, we're just getting past this whole entanglements thing, right? Or are we still talking about that, eh, black America? I mean, once again, we're talking about things that really, really don't matter in the long run. These are just rich people with too much time on their hands sitting here, you know, instead of just working on their craft and giving us something, you know, interesting to talk about. Now they're over here just having the same old problem and then making it seem like, oh, oh, well, you know, Jay, this is really important. The hell it is, man. It's not important. I don't care about Jada's whole affair with August and, and Will is just sitting there being like, oh, my God, did, 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 you, did you taste him? I don't care about that. Uh, same thing with Kanye sitting there talking about, like, how Harriet Tubman didn't free any slaves or, or also saying that slavery is a choice. And, I mean, come on, man. Just like, uh, like, like right there off the bat, I'm like, there's people that are stupid enough to go ahead and broadcast this and see the downfall of a, what, what, how old is Kanye anyway? Kanye damn near 40, right? It's like, I I like Kanye when he was the graduation album and in music. I I don't care for this Kanye at all, but there are people who will feed into it. Not to mention when the man was trying to make his own religion and all that, everybody was like, oh, I like this, it was good, the beat was fire, Jay, you understand what I'm saying, and I'm like, yeah, I understand what you're saying, I'm just not gonna join the party, you know what I mean, and my mom was like, I hope he does run, I was like, really, but you see, that that's the thing, see, like I said, older people from a different time, and my mother, when she sees this stuff, she needs to jack out too, because she's too involved in the crap, but that that just happens when you um you know you not have that moment of clarity. Some some of y'all need that. You know what I mean? Like look at this kind of stuff. You you think about it. What is a Kanye West presidency gonna do for you? About the same as a Trump presidency did. Looks good on paper, don't it? But it ain't, it ain't gonna look good in actual practice. I mean, what exactly is he gonna tell you? A whole bunch of nonsense to go ahead and make you feel as though like you're empowered for what you say and stuff. No, really, really think about it sometime because, see, we'd already wasted four years. And as we are going into another section of four years, really think about it. You see, as usual, J-Man's not going to tell you who to vote for. That's entirely up to you and whether you vote or not. But, man, whew, scary stuff, man. I'm just saying. A lot of people try to ask me, oh, why would you vote for Joe Biden? I didn't tell you I was voting for Joe Biden, did I? I didn't tell you I was voting for Trump either. I'm not going to tell you who else I'm voting for. I'm not going to tell you who I'm voting for even in Delaware. Or like years to come when I'm living in another state. I'm not going to tell you any of that stuff. I don't have to. Mm Mm-hmm. 
But when you really think about it, no one wants to listen to that. Oh, I, I, I need to know more information about you. No, you don't. It's the same thing about my first name. At best, it's a letter, and it's all you're going to know about for right now. <laughs> it's, it's the way you go about doing things. And like sometimes returning to basics. I'm not returning to basics. I'm improving as a person. And then when you think about it, I got to. Because if anything, seeing all these other things mentally break down or fall apart at the seams and stuff just reminds me how stable I am. And even on my worst day, I can always wake up knowing I'm smarter than the president and Kanye West. And you all should feel that same comfort, too, that you're smarter than what you're seeing in the public arena. Because God knows what is going on out there. And yeah, I know I'm over the 15 limit, but, you know, we got a lot of things to cover and catch up on. And speaking of which, uh, you know, I did do a crossover not too long ago on my way back. It should be ready by Thursday. I was hanging out with the S-Man himself. Shout out to S. Anthony Thomas. And a lot of other people were asking about guest starring on some of my podcasts. And I was like, all right, well, I can always bring back the Uncut Show for that. And why shouldn't I? So the Uncut Show is available by request only at, at current. So you just send me an email you know, to j360productions at outlook.com. And you put in the subject, J360 Radio Live, okay? And you just let me know if you're interested, what you want to talk about, and we'll go from there. And usually the best way that I'll respond to you... Like, I will respond to you anyway, but sometimes the best thing to do is send it to me on a Monday because that's when, you know, it's maintenance Monday. So just send me what you need to send me. Or you can leave me a voicemail on the hotline. That's 240-903-1634. Best ways to get in contact with the J-Man because, man, I'm really, really busy these days. But outside of all that, though, I just hope everybody's taking care of themselves. You have a two-in-one special tonight. You got the power play happening in about, I want to say, an hour or so. No, no, an hour and 30, usually. So that's going to be happening on twitch.tv slash j360tv. And we'll go ahead and we'll knock out a few things. Oh, yeah, two episodes of the J-Man Show this week. But until then... This is me signing off. It's good to be back, and you all take care of yourselves, okay? Peace. We all know a guy who only occasionally shaves for big occasions, and it's because that occasional shave really hurts the time of year for big occasions, and yet there he is, suffering with that cheap drugstore razor. Let's help him out. Henson Shaving's line of razors, built with aerospace precision, deliver a smooth shave your dad, brother, and even son can enjoy, eventually. With replacement blades just 10 cents each, you'll buy it once, and they'll use it for life. How's that for the perfect gift? Celebrate with 100 free blades on your first purchase, and no subscription headaches. HensonShaving.com slash holiday.